Are you feeling tired, stressed, and not motivated at all for 2021? Don't worry, I got you. Here are my top six tips for trying to incorporate mindfulness into your daily routine in 2021. Now, all of these tips that I am going to mention, I have started doing since the end of November, beginning of December, and they truly have done wonders for making me be more aware of myself, my surroundings, my mind, and my body as a whole. So I hope that they do the same for you. My first thing to incorporate into your mindfulness routine in 2021 is yoga and exercise, or either or, depending again on how your body feels. I love looking at Yoga with Adrian and Madfoot. They are my top two channels to do any workouts, any yoga, any stretches, any meditation from. Since starting doing it, I have seen the best result in my body, both in being more flexible as a dancer, to being more energetic throughout the day, having a lot of energy in the day, and as well as in the night, even if I do the yoga and the exercise in the morning, having a better sleep at night because my body has used up whatever energy has been stored in. And especially in COVID and quarantine, many people are sitting at their desk 24 seven with work, school, watching TV, etc. And that can mean that your body is not stretching enough, your blood flow isn't moving enough, and that can cause your body to become and feel quite strained, and that can lead to other problems such as headaches, stomach aches, fatigue, etc. So definitely try and incorporate your yoga and your exercise first thing in the morning and don't worry with yoga. I know you think it's only about those poses or to be the most flexible like a contortionist that you could be, but it is not about that at all. It's literally just about being in tune with everything that is going on around you and with your body and your body just feeling stretched out and getting that blood flow in. So whether you are just doing your Surya Namaskar or whether you are just doing your tree pose or whether you're doing downward dog, it really doesn't matter. You can morph it to how you want it to seem. You can tone it down from one of the videos that you're watching. It seriously, it's all up to you. And that's the great thing about doing your own workouts at home, as well as doing it with the two channels that I mentioned. The second thing that I would love for you guys to incorporate into your mindfulness routine in 2021 is to do meditation. Now, it's a very basic thing to say, but seriously, since I started meditating at the end of November, I have never felt more in tune with my thoughts and my soul and my mind and how I am feeling with myself and my surroundings and everything that's happening around me. I'm currently doing Deepak Chopra's 21 Days of Abundance Meditation in which he does guided meditation, gives you a centering thought of the day as well as he does the prompts which you have to do after or before your meditation but within 24 hours. And I'm currently on day eight and I absolutely love it. I feel like that is the first thing that I look forward to doing in the morning. I wake up at around seven or eight, depending on what my body feels like. If I'm sleeping in, maybe sometimes it's 10, let's be honest. But that is the first thing that I tend to do every single morning because I look forward to it that much. Now, a lot of you may think it's quite daunting going into it at first because you think that your mind has to be completely blank of anything but trust me when i initially started that is not the case at all because you can't just have an on and off switch for your memory and for your brain and how it is working and you are human for being stressed about things but it's just about taking a moment of silence in which you are not distracted by technology you are not distracted by anyone around you you are literally just listening to nature or the meditation guidance that you're doing i would highly recommend maybe starting off with a guided meditation and then maybe moving it on to a peaceful sound in the background and maybe the end result would be to try and do it yourself without anything and just listening to nature the third thing is doing journaling and gratitude lists and manifestation lists in the morning. I started journaling on my birthday last year, so the 15th of August, and I have written every single day since then. And now it is January, so it's been nearly five months of me doing journaling every single day in gratitude, as well as doing a manifestation or a goals list or a, a hopeful list, let's call it. Now that I've started the abundance challenge, I try to do it in the morning straight after I do the guided meditation and after I do my yoga and exercise. Now journaling is honestly just a brain dump. Whatever's stressing you out, whatever thoughts you have, 
whatever is making you angry or disappointed or that you wish could happen write it in your journal it's basically about talking to a friend or talking it back to yourself if you are shy and honestly writing it out just makes it feel like someone's taking stuff out of your brain or off your shoulders and just putting it on a piece of paper and the same with your gratitude list it is so 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 important i made a video two videos back i think about being grateful for whatever has happened in 2020 but besides just the year try and make it a daily thing you can be thankful for that burger that you had you can be thankful for having six instead of five hours of sleep anything and everything which you have you can be grateful for there's no one out here in the world that can say that they don't have something to be grateful for so i tend to write three things that i'm grateful for every single day after i finish my journaling number four is to definitely do something outside if you follow me on instagram you see it all the time or if you have watched some of my vlogs or previous videos i take my dog on a walk almost every single day and recently i've actually upped it and i take him twice a day for about 15 minute walk around my complex and i love it because i as i've said before as well i love nature and i love being outdoors and so being in quarantine and being cooped up in the house has been very hard sometimes on me because i'm so used to being out and about and doing stuff and so taking my dog for that 15 minute walk even though i've seen the complex about like 70,000 times i seriously look forward to it every single day i feel my day is not complete without it again besides just needing to feel nature it's great for your brain activity it's great for getting your muscles and oxygen going through your body and working etc so taking your dog out for a walk or even doing your exercise outside is seriously a great thing to do so try and do something outside even if you paint outside just get vitamin d into your bloodstream and i swear you'll feel 20 percent better if not 100 percent better than you did before you went outside the fifth thing is reading i am an avid reader but with school going on most of the time sometimes i don't get the chance to read as much as i would like to but now that i've been on holiday and i get my mornings to myself because my cousin's working my parents usually are working as well my sister's usually let's be honest be watching tv downstairs and then she comes later after i wake up and after i do my journaling meditation etc sometimes i'll go shower or i will read or i will read after i shower and every single day you can always find two types of books on my nightstand one is a fantasy or a like a storybook kind of one and recently i've been doing the blue moon evermore and shadowland kind of series by alice noel and i'm currently on the third book and i'm halfway through the third book so i'm hopefully going to get that done by next week and on top of that my cousin and my aunt and her family got me michelle obama becoming book which i which is such a nice gift to get for my birthday honestly because my mom and i were actually talking about it like two days before and then i ended up getting it and i am a very big fan of michelle obama as i'm sure most of you watching this are because she seriously is one of the very few first ladies that has made like a name for herself besides being the first lady and so i really admire her for that and so i'm also about a quarter way in maybe less just because i am trying to finish my fictional book but every day without a fail i try to read as much as i can just because one i love reading and two obviously just keeps my brain kind of working now that i am on my holidays and the last thing that i do is i try to eat healthy i have spoken about this in my what i eat videos and things like that i'm a vegetarian and i try to decrease my meat intake but even if you eat meat that's totally okay just try and keep a balanced meal try to not have fried foods all the time or processed foods or highly sugary foods all of the time because it is 100% scientifically proven that whatever you put into your mouth and into your body actually can affect your mental health and how your body tends to feel and it's very much thing in what ayurveda is all about and i have spoken about that on my channel as well and i try to eat as healthy as i can obviously sometimes i do feel for like i don't know like a bag full of chips or i feel for like a piece of chocolate or something like that but for the most part i absolutely love my fruits and vegetables and whole foods and so i tend to stick to those unless i'm feeling like i want something else but yeah 
those are all the tips that I have for you guys to incorporate into your mindfulness routine for 2021. Please, please, please let me know if you're going to use any of these, if they work for you. And yeah, I guess that I hope that you guys have a wonderful week filled with lots of love, happiness, light, positivity, and great mindfulness. Please stay kind, please stay safe, and please stay healthy. Love you guys. Bye.